Welcome back, welcome back. So let's talk about that EIDL. This is December 2023 and we are going to enter into the new year just right. Stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more financial updates and money talk. Make the money. Don't let it make you. Well, hello, I am Q Rowland. I am your business growth coach and money mentor, and we are going to talk about the EIDL. Since I began talking about the EIDL, I get so many questions, and I really appreciate it because it helps me to learn even more so that I can share all this good info with you. So let's just go over a couple of the questions that I've been asked over the last couple of weeks. One question that I keep getting is this one. Will my loan be turned over to the treasury? Now, let me just say this. Whether they do that or not, you know, only God knows. But as far as the SBA report states, the SBA will not be referring debts to the treasury. So if you're reading that or someone's telling you that, I'm going off of pure facts coming straight from the SBA. I am not going off what anybody told me. And the answer, based on that report, which you can find, I'll link it right here in the comment section. But the answer is no. They are not going to be referring your bad debt to the treasury to collect from your personal. And let me tell you why. Because your loan, if it was an EIDL, it was a business loan. If it was under $200,000, that means you were not a personal guarantee. So they cannot come after you personally. They can only come after business, money, assets, whatever. They can't come after you personally. So even if they turn it over to the treasury, on business taxes, there are no refunds. So, hey, that tells you everything you need to know, right? Okay, so the next thing is, can you get more than one accommodation? Hey, that is up to the SBA. You have to contact them by email to their customer service, ask for that secondary or renewal accommodation. It is solely up to the SBA loan specialist that will reach out to you regarding your particular loan. So you don't wanna come off as like, you know, the sad sob story, cause they don't care. That's not what they're there to do. They're there to collect the debt. So telling them your sad sob story is not gonna move the needle either way. Just tell them, hey, tell them your circumstances. It's either gonna be a yay or nay. If you need a renewal on your accommodation, you can email SBA's customer service and ask for an accommodation based on your own circumstances. So another question that I've gotten is, because the SBA gave me this money based on my social security number, how will it affect me personally? Again, if it was under $200,000, you were not a personal guarantee, but it does affect future lending with the SBA. And the reason that matters is because as a small business owner, the SBA may be your only lending option in some cases. They are the most lenient. They give you the most money, especially if you're just starting out in most cases. So no, if you owe them money and you have defaulted on your EIDL loan and you're like, hit the hell with it, they're going to say the hell with you too when you need more money. So just keep that in mind when you are choosing not to go forward with payment of your loan. So I just want you to think about the whole picture. I always say consult with a licensed professional before making any grand decisions that could affect you negatively or positively because you want to make sure you are making the best decisions for not only your business for you as well just remember that i am available for one-on-one -on -one coaching business coaching through my website at qroland.com that is www.qroland.com i also have a course on my website called credit on demand so if you are struggling with your personal credit and your business credit this course teaches you everything you need to know it's only 99 dollars, so go pick it up this will fix your credit tell you how to leverage your credit grow your credit do all the things you need to do with your business in order to continue to grow within your business i truly truly hope that you are enjoying your holiday season as i am yes i am enjoying it remember Go make the money, but don't let the money make you. I'll see you soon.